Hello, welcome to Math with Niall. Today we're learning about pictograms. Hi Niall, what's a pictogram? A pictogram is a picture that represents a number. Well, it's a chart where we can use pictures to represent numbers. Yeah. The first thing I want us to look at is that pictogram on the board. Can you tell us what the title says? How how children travel to school. So that means that chart is giving us some information about ch how children travel to school. How do you travel to school? I sometimes walk and I sometimes go on my scooter. Okay, and what options do we have in that chart there? Scooter, car, walk, bicycle and bus. Very good. And you see the information in that blue box that's very, very important. That's our key. Can you tell us what information that box is saying there? One kid equals one kid. Well, one drawing, one of those drawings yeah, is one equal kid to equals one child. One kid. So, yeah. let's have a look at the questions on the right hand side. What does the first one say? How many children walk to school? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, good. So you found the picture with the walking and you counted how many of those little people we had. And we have eight children walk to school. What's it, what does the next question say? How many children went to school by car? Three. Can you use the pointer and count the three first? One, two, three. Very good. What does the next question say? How many more children scooted than took the bus? So can you read that again first? How many more children scooted than took the bus? Very good. So what are you going to do to work that out? Well, for scooter, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. And for bus, it's one, two. Okay, so the question is. Saying... And uh, so we have to take away two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight more took the. Eight more scooted. Eight more scooted, very good. Ten. Take away two is equal to eight. Yeah. What about the last question? What does it say? How many children were there all together? Mm -hmm. So in total. Well, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So there were 30 students in all. Very good. Can you pull the board forward and turn it over? Let's have a look at the other side, please. That's it, good job. All right, so let's have a look at this pictogram. What does the title say? Children's favorite animals. And the very important key is one circle mm -hmm. equals four children because it has like four quarters, so. Well, it says, the key says one circle equals four children. We're lucky that it's been split into four. Sometimes it isn't. Sometimes they just have the circle on its own. Yeah. But that is there to help you a bit. So how are you going to use that information to answer those questions? Let's look at the first one. What does it say, the first question? It says, how many children prefer birds? 
How many children preferred birds? Uh, four, eight. Because four plus four equals eight. Good, and one of those circles is four, as we've yeah. just been told by the key. Okay, what about question two? How many children prefer the other animals? So here are our other animals. Yeah, because we've got some different animals there. So how yes. many children prefer the Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, can you just show us how you know it's eleven? Can you count them individually? Because one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so we've got three people in that last one. So good, 11 in all. What does the next question say? How many children in total like dogs and rabbits? So dogs it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16 in total. So yes. How many people like rabbits only? Two. Two. Very good. I like rabbits a lot. Yeah. What does the next one say? How many more children preferred cats than fish? Well, cats has four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that this has four five so that means that three of these and these two so three plus two equals five very good that's correct but that circle that key is really important because it tells us that one of those circles represent four children yes if what if if that key wasn't there like maybe we would have just said maybe it equaled one person exactly. and uh, yeah exactly and what if it said that one of those circles represented 20 children would you be able to tell me how many people prefer rabbits if one of those circles represented 20 children How much of the circle do we have by the rabbit? Half. Half. And if the whole circle represented 20? 10. 10. Very good. So if the whole circle represented 20 children, tell me how many would have liked birds? Uh, 80. No. no. 40. Why is it 40? Because one circle represents 20 and 20 plus 20 is 40. Very good. But in this example, it doesn't represent 20 and it doesn't represent 1. It represents how many? 4! So that's why it's very, very important that in pictograms we look at the key to find out each picture how many it represents. Yes. yes. Okay, well done. What do you think? Was that a good lesson? It was the best lesson I've ever done. Two thumbs up. Alright, see you next time. Bye! Now we have some practice questions for you to try. When you're ready, pause the video and have a go. When you're finished and ready for the answers, press play. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook and if there's anything you want me to do, write it down in the comment section and I'll do it for you. Bye!